everybody. My name is Angela Hockman, and you are watching In the Kitchen on STL TV. On today's delicious episode, we are going to chat it up with Kenny Trong, the owner of The Rice House. Kenny, how's it going? I'm great. Thanks for having me, Angela. We are thrilled to have you, and you brought more food than... How many people do you think we have here? Oh, <laughs> this is great. Enough, enough, <laughs> right? Well, so Kenny, let's talk a little bit about what we're going to prepare on this first segment. Well, today we're going to introduce the, the, our famous recipe for our crab rangoons. Ooh. It uses uh, imitation crab, okay. uh, garlic, a pinch of salt, and uh, secret spices and seasonings only available at the Rice House. Oh no, not a secret for in the kitchen? Uh. Well, we do have the them. ingredients available in case anybody does want to attempt this at home. If not, run to the rice house. Please well, Kenny, do. I'm putting on gloves because I want you to put me to work. Yes, so we are going to prepare the rangoons, is that right? Yes, we are. Awesome. First we need is some fresh wonton skins made Yummy. out of egg and flour. Okay. Are so, these homemade? Yes, these are homemade. They're cut so perfectly. Yes, sharp knives. <laughs> so okay. here we have a pre-mixed uh, of our uh, cream cheese okay. uh, with crab, uh, the imitation crab and seasonings. Mm -hmm. uh, we keep these in the fridge so we can firm up so that when you fry it, um, they don't ooze out um, before the skin Perfect. becomes crispy. So here you go. Okay, oh, oh thank you. for you. Uh, grab the same. About okay. a heaping teaspoon. Heaping teaspoon. Right in the center. Okay. All right. Did I nail that? Yes, you did. Perfect. Yes. Put the spoon back in here. <laughs> From the bottom, just fold up a half, almost a full triangle. Okay, almost a full triangle. And I imagine these are a really big hit at the restaurant. It's one of our yes, most popular Yes, yes. It's like it, it's it's almost accompanies every meal. It's a must-have, yeah. and uh, ours is really really delicious. Yeah. So after you have that, you just take a, use your forefinger. Okay. Just do a simple quick fold. Fold. And flip it. Yep. Okay. Right there. Simple, quick fold and flip. And then flip. Everyone, like every ours. restaurant, they uh, fold theirs uh, uniquely. But you did a <laughs> great job. <laughs> awesome. I think yours looks better, but. Uh, Take a look at that, guys. <laughs> oh, my. So. Thanks, Kenny. Here we are. Um, make so a few more. Yeah, we'll make a few more for you. Yeah. So, Kenny, restaurants have been in your family for over 30 years. Let's talk a little bit about that family history. Well, it started with uh, my parents' restaurant. Um, it's called Vin Chop Sui uh, from the Baden area here in North St. Louis. Uh, growing up, um, you know, some of my daily chores were peeling onions, uh, <laughs> peeling carrots, and, and doing prep work, and uh, eventually evolved to taking orders and when uh, cooks didn't come in, I learned how to cook rice um, at a very early age. So, wow, those chores uh, sure beat, you know, making your bed and doing dishes and stuff. Topping onions, how fun. Oh, wow, it, it helped me perfect my craft that I have today and um, it's blessed to be able to work in it and, um, you know, have a strong foundation for it. So now what I do nowadays is I try to still use my same, the same recipes that my grandparents had started and created oh, and just reintroduce them to uh, different um, groups of people all around the world as I try my best to um, go into different cities and mm -hmm. um, introduce the same food that I cooked growing up. Gosh, that's great. And so the restaurant is located, there are two locations in Florissant, right? Yes. Cool. Um, one, How long have they been open? Well, Sorry. first, uh, 2011. Uh, April 2011, okay. uh, opened Rice House 1. And uh, Rice House 2 opened in 2013, gotcha. a few years afterwards. Okay. Um, and, I mean, what's unique about you guys, sure, there's many Chinese restaurants in St. Louis, but you guys sort of put a little kick to it, a little flair. You make yes, these items Yes, growing up, uh, I wanted to be different. I, I, I didn't want to be the average uh, Chinese-American restaurant, I so I introduced uh, fun things like the Philly cheesesteak wontons, which is uh, very, very <laughs> popular and one of my favorite appetizers. Um, the cheeseburger egg rolls. Cheeseburger egg rolls. Yes. It's like you're fusing two of these amazing dishes together. One of my favorites growing up, right? Yum. So. And you have also dessert wontons. You have breakfast fried rice. Which is bacon, eggs, and ham. Okay, available Wonderful. all day, I take it. All day. <laughs> it is the most important meal of the day, so yes, we gotta yes. get on this. Um, several our other special dishes are, are St. Paul's. I was gonna say, I don't know what's taller, those sandwiches or the trophies, so. 
I know, right? <laughs> and we won these in the Taste in Ferguson. Congratulations! Um, we've been uh, participating for the past three years, and uh, these awesome. are our trophies to reflect our first place in our international category. Way to so, go, in the Taste in Ferguson. And what time of year is that? It's around September, and uh, it's Perfect. an effort to uh, raise money for scholarships for uh, Ferguson youth in the uh, local area. We are very proud to be able to be a part of such an organization to give back. Congratulations. I mean, that's really something to be proud of. Yes. Kenny, looks like that's a wrap on these wontons, pun intended. They're so, wonderful. You did a great well, job. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm excited to eat them later. But when we come back, we are going to jump into one of the many dishes you have. You've got over 20 varieties of fried rice, and we are going to attempt one when we come back. Stick around. If I say St. Louis, you probably think the Gateway Arch, America's tallest monument. One record down. So rather than build up, we built out. Expanding the Gateway Arch grounds with more exhibits, green space, and riverfront views. With all of these improvements, it's high time you discovered the West. Can I help you guys? Yes, please. From out of town? How you doing, man? Sterling. St. Lou is always exploring. Kitchen. Joining me here is Kenny Trong, the man, the myth, and the owner of the Rice House in Florissant. So Kenny, on the first segment, we made some crab rangoon together. Yes. Let's talk about this finished product. I mean, talk about it before and after. This is yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, so um, <laughs> I usually fry these in 325 okay. for about one or two minutes. Okay. As soon as they turn golden brown, oh, lift it fast. up, dry them, and they're a bunch of crunchy, creamy deliciousness. Yum. So Kenny, I'm a dip girl. What would you dip in these? I prefer sweet and sour sauce. Okay, that's, that's fair. my favorite. And uh, it's usually the go to for everyone else. I like your style. Okay, well, I'll try to not focus on that. We are going to jump into fried rice. Now, Kenny, you have over 20 varieties. That's right, 20 of fried rice on your menu. Yes, when I named my restaurant The Rice House, I wanted to make sure that it is the focus. Um, mm -hmm. It is uh, one of the things that I grew up uh, making every day. And uh, to make it uh, more unique, I gave it uh, different varieties. And today, Clearly. we have the ultimate fried rice. The ultimate, and again, in case people want to attempt this at home, we have generously provided the ingredients, but we're gonna get into it. So what makes it the ultimate? It has uh, beef, chicken, shrimp, pork, and ham. Cousin Onions, lovers. Uh, bean sprouts, <laughs> and eggs. Wow! So it's super high protein and extremely hearty too here with everything else. So what's the first step to make this? Uh, first, onions. Onions, okay. Chopped just like you chopped when you were yes. young, right? Ooh! I'm trying not to cry. Okay, did we kind of let, let those get a little bit brown? Yes, ma'am. And then Perfect. now, we, it's about time so we can add the protein. Okay. This is a lot of protein. Are these dishes designed to share or are they They're individual? so delicious, I think people don't want to share these, but I you can, definitely it. can. Well, there's no judgment at the rice house. Let's do this. So right now I'm Ooh. just sauteing the onions and the protein to bring it up to temp Smells before delicious. adding the rice. Okay. Now what we do at the rice house is we marinate our rice um, hmm. prior to putting it in. Uh, we season it. Um, just so that it can give it its rich brown mm. hue, uh, which is 
Very popular and uh, a distinctive characteristic for St. Louis style fried rice. Absolutely. Um, it's fried rice may seem very simple, but in St. Louis, uh, we take it uh, very serious. I can tell, and you take it to another level. I don't know any other place where you can get every protein under the sun in your fried rice. Yes, no, rice is next. Place. Rice, okay. Uh, oh, that you. looks good. Can I help stir a little? Yes, ma'am. Want to see what it's like to be behind the scenes here at the rice go. house. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Kenny, do you have a favorite fried rice? I do, and uh, it's the jambalaya fried rice. Oh, a little Cajun influence, I see. Yes, it is. That's awesome. It's uh, shrimp, crawfish, uh, crab, onions, bell peppers. But with that, what makes that fried rice uh, a little bit more distinctive is this flavor. Mm. We add Cajun spices and um, tomato sauce. Probably not for the faint of heart, served with a big glass of water. No. <laughs> Here um, mm. in St. Louis, we normally eat fried rice with our uh, St. Louis beverage, the Vest Soda. Oh, I love Vest. That just screams my childhood in St. Louis. I can't yes. get enough. You find that at both of my restaurants. Okay, okay, you heard it first here. The ultimate fried rice pairs perfectly with a Vest Soda. Yes. I love how local you're keeping it. <laughs> this is great. Only thing I know. Nothing so now wrong with that. we'll add the scrambled eggs. Okay, eggs not just for breakfast. Mm. Here we go. All right. Mm. So much protein in one bowl. My mind is kind of blown here, Ken. Very hearty, very hearty <laughs> dish. Awesome. Um, now we can add the bean sprouts. Bean sprouts. Let's do this. Okay. And you guys are fairly active in the community. I know you mentioned the Taste in Ferguson. Where else can we keep up with you? Um, the Taste of St. Louis. Uh, we're actively in that every year. Um, awesome. The Festival of Nations. Uh, we're going to be at the Botanical Garden uh, oh, coming wow. soon for the Chinese Lantern Festival. How uh, we're perfect. participating in that, that this year as well. That's got to uh, be a highlight. Well, I hope you win some more trophies like that I when you're showcasing your amazing food. And then now, before the green onions, we can add some soy sauce. Okay, soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Here you have it. Got it. A little flavor. Mmm. About a tablespoon just in there. Just a tablespoon. Okay, okay. Now you can smell that aroma. Oh, yeah. And how many days a week is the Rice House open? Seven days a week. Cool. Uh, we have, you can check us out on our website, uh, www.ricehousestl.com. Definitely. We also have an Instagram page, The Rice House. Oh, I'm all over it. <laughs> and Facebook. So please check us out. Um, there are a few videos on YouTube out there. I like your style. Oh, so you got to then... share it with the masses. Are we ready to top with... Scallions? Scallions, yes, Okay, man. here we go. I'm just taking Ooh. over, you know, like go I work ahead. here. Let's do this. Go ahead. Oh my gosh, to Kenny, toss well, that I've got to get bit. into the restaurant here. Oh, this smells so wonderful. Okay. Okay, cool. I think we're ready. Oh my gosh. Slide that over, turn that on. <laughs> so here it is, guys, the finished product. Fresh out of the walk. Here are other examples that yeah, we've had else brought. We have fried rice. This is our special fried rice, mm -hmm. pork, ham, and shrimp. Then we have our hot braised chicken. We have our chicken fried rice here at the end. Okay. Um, this right here we have is the ultimate St. Paul. Again, it's packed with proteins, beef, chicken, shrimp, pork, ham. How do you even also, eat that? It's as tall as I am. Two strips of applewood smoked bacon. Okay, okay. All right, on Texas toast. This one right over here. Um, this is a fun one. If you like chicken and you like spicy, this is our Angry Bird St. Paul. Uh, it's topped <laughs> with a slice named? of monster cheese. Oh my gosh. On Texas toast. Kenny, you have outdone yourself. I can't thank you enough for sharing your time and your expertise and your wonderful food with us here. Thank you. At In the Kitchen. Thank you so much again for being here. You guys, as you said, you can check them out on their website. Definitely follow them on Facebook and on Instagram. And the show would not be the show without our fantastic sponsor, Cozy Bear Creations. This is a rockin' St. Louis-based wood carving company that does all sorts of one-of-a-kind concepts, from toys to bow ties, yes, even our beautiful In the Kitchen sign. You will certainly want to follow them on social media as well. Consider them when you're trying to buy a very unique gift for somebody as well.
And we would like to thank all of you for tuning in today on this episode of In the Kitchen, where you get to experience St. Louis. As always, check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, everything. We want you to keep up and know what's going on in St. Louis. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time.